Hey foodies, today I'm gonna show you one of the highly requested recipe of chocolate waffles. So basically these are light and crispy waffles which you can easily prepare at home without much ingredients and that too without eggs. And you can enjoy this with any toppings of your choice like some chocolate sauce, some maple syrup, some whipped cream or even fruits. And these are very much in fashion nowadays so let's see how to prepare this. First up in a bowl, we'll sift together all the dry ingredients. So in goes 1 cup of all-purpose flour or maida, which is around I've taken 150 grams. I'm also using 1 tablespoon of corn flour or cornstarch for crispiness. Then I'm using half a cup of powdered sugar, this is around 100 grams. 1 teaspoon I'm using of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm also taking 1 tablespoon of cocoa powder for chocolate waffles. Sift it nicely. So today I'm using some cocoa powder because I'm making chocolate waffles. But if you want to make plain waffles, that also you can do. Just minus the cocoa powder from this. Once it is done, mix it well and set it aside. In another bowl, we'll mix in all the wet ingredients. So in goes 3 tablespoons of yogurt or dahi. This is the plain homemade yogurt or dahi. Next, I'm using 2 tablespoons of melted butter. So today I'm using this salted butter, but if you're using the unsalted one, then add a pinch of salt in the dry ingredients. This will help in enhancing the flavor of the waffles a lot. Next, goes in a teaspoon of vanilla essence and mix everything really well. You can use a whisk for this. Now gradually add in the wet ingredients into the dry ones and mix it well. And once that is mixed, then simultaneously keep adding some water or milk, whichever you like to adjust its consistency. It should neither be too thick nor too loose, but it should be slightly on thicker side, just like a cake batter. So for this, I have used almost half a cup of milk, that is around 100 ml. You can use as per your judgment. So I'll show you the consistency of this. It exactly looks like the cake batter. When I'm dropping, it's forming ribbon consistency you can see this that's the perfect consistency we are looking for do not make it very loose or very hard now let the batter rest just for about three to four minutes to puff up and then we'll prepare the waffles now comes the important thing to heat up your waffle machine so here i've got this waffle machine you can heat it up as per the instructions given in the manual i have preheated mine for two minutes and then i'm going to slightly grease with some oil or butter all over on the top also and at the base also to make the waffles crisp and also for easy removal and now what i will do i'll pour in about 3 4th cup of the batter which is around 200 ml onto this waffle making plate and slowly you'll see that it will expand on its own always make sure not to overfill the machine otherwise you'll end up losing its shape and the batter will start oozing out from the sides and making the entire process very messy the batter has spread enough i'm going to close the waffle maker and let it cook for at least five to six minutes or until the steam totally escapes because when you cook the waffles you'll see the steam releasing from the sides of the machine so let that go and after around five minutes you'll start getting the smell of the waffles getting cooked that's when you know that your waffles are about to get done because it happens that your machine doesn't have time indicator whether it's done or not in that case you can use your judgment just normally how you do for your grill sandwiches but make sure not to open the machine at least for six to seven minutes or until the heat completely escapes it's been almost 10 minutes now i can smell the cooked waffles in my house let's remove and see so i'm going to open this Oh lovely, you can see how gorgeous brown color it has got with crisp edges and top. I'll just show you. Nice crispy on top and crispy edges with lovely chocolate color. And if you want to make it more crispier, then you can cook for additional 1 to 2 more minutes. But I think this much works for me. This is how it looks from all the sides. And I'll also show you from behind. You can see the bottom also is nicely cooked. I'm going to remove it and let it rest just for about 2 to 3 minutes and it will form up a bit. Now you can simply dust it with some powdered sugar, drizzle some honey, some maple syrup or chocolate syrup. You can also decorate with some fruits. There are n number of ways to serve it. 
But today I'm using some chocolate sauce all over this way. A little bit of whipped cream because I had it handy. But if you want, you can also use some vanilla ice cream or chocolate ice cream for this. And a simple strawberry on the side. And serve it immediately if you want to enjoy its crispiness. I'll just break and show you also. Yum! This is how it looks from inside. The texture is nice. It's nicely cooked with crispy edges. You can enjoy this with a dollop of whipped cream. So I'll just take a bite and show you. Mm. It's too good guys. It's worth trying at home. Hope you enjoyed watching this video as much I did in making it. If yes, like, share and subscribe for more such easy eggless recipes from Kanak's Kitchen. I'll see you soon in my another video. Till then, take good care. Bye-bye.